Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be showing a sneak peek at the beta version of the OLoop app, which is part of the Ocean Loop subscription, which is $50 per month. It also includes a data plan with the T-Mobile and also cloud access. So this app is part of that subscription. Right now, I'm looking at version 1.0.4876, and I am going to start it up. First thing the app does is it shows the connected car to your account. It has like kind of a summary information here, it has a climate button a key button and a door lock button. And right now it shows that the car is offline and the BLE or Bluetooth low energy is shown as connected. So you could do some stuff right here with the app. The first thing I'm gonna demonstrate is locking and unlocking. There's a button here for doors. It shows the current status being locked. I'm gonna press the button and it is now unlocked. And now the app shows doors unlocked. If you press it again, the doors will lock. So pretty simple with that. The next thing I wanna show is climate. So it's preconditioning for climate. If you press the button here, you get options for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour. I'm gonna press 15 minutes and then confirm. So then the car starts up and the AC starts running. Mind you, it's going to be the same settings that you had for HVAC when you turn the vehicle off. So for example, if you have HVAC with the AC turned on and a fan set at like three or four, when you do the preconditioning, it'll bring back those same settings. It'll be the AC on and the same fan speed. And I'll zoom in there and you can see the AC is on and the fans on and the temperature is set. And there you go. And if you want to turn climate off, you just press that button again. So if I press that, everything shuts off. So a very convenient way to have the HVAC running when you get to your car. Some other things, if you want to access, go to the car dashboard and there's some additional things you can do such as flash the headlights. I'm going to press that button right now. And there it is. So that's handy if your car is in a parking lot and you want to find it at night. There you go. Next, we have the lift gate or trunk. I'm going to press that button. And the lift gate opens. And if I press it again, lift gate closes. And before I forget, there's also California mode. I'm going to press the button for that. And there we go, California mode is working. And as I mentioned before, the California mode button is only for opening. If you wanna close it, you have to do it from inside the vehicle. So when you get in the vehicle to start everything up, just put your foot on the brake and all the screens should turn on. In order to have the car be able to drive, you're going to have to press the key button here. And when you press the key button, the little lock disappears. At this point, you can now go into gear, for example, drive, reverse, neutral. 
and then park. So you'll be able to drive the car with the app. That's also known as phone as a key. And you don't need to press that key button again unless you get out of the car and get back into the seat again. Very similar to how it would work if you had a key card on you and you'd have to press the key card on the NFC sensor to get the car in ready mode. Some other things we have on the app is the battery status. We can see an image of the battery, the percent state of charge, for example, 77%, the miles remaining, 234. Next, we have the cabin climate. It's 95 degrees, which it's been very warm today and it's been sitting in my garage. We also have odometer, it's showing 19,783 miles. And finally, at the bottom, we have a location feature and you click on that and it shows where the car is parked. So if you park somewhere and want to get back to the vehicle, this will guide you back to the car. Just press the back button on the map app and you're back into the O-Loop application. And that is about it for the main screen on here. If you press the back button, it goes to that summary page and the other features that the O-Loop app has, such as a digital wallet and all that stuff. Uh, those items I'm not gonna go into since I do not have an account with those features. If we click on the menu in the upper left button here, gives you your name, your email address. There's some settings here, privacy policy, delete account. Also, we have share logs and log out. On the bottom, there's a need help little box here, and it says if you have any questions, problems, or feedback, contact us at support at ovloop.com. And like I mentioned, this is just a beta version of the app. There's gonna be more features coming. So this is the current state of the app. I'm running it right now on iOS, but it's also available on Android, and it is the identical version of the app. It looks exactly the same as this one does. Well, I hope that gives you an idea of the O-Loop app and how it functions with the Fisker Ocean. I'll be doing more updates as I get new beta versions. And when the final version comes out, I'll definitely cover that as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.